Okay, beginners, welcome to practice. So you've had a look at the basic moves and now we're going to go through a 30 minute sequence and put together some of those basic moves and incorporate them into um, a, a beginner's forest yoga practice, okay? So make sure you're sitting comfortably, um, either sitting on the floor cross-legged. If sitting on the floor is uncomfortable, then feel free to take a, a cushion or a yoga block and place it under the sit bones. That might feel a little bit easier for the lower back. Okay, uh, all right, so close your eyes and sit up tall. Okay, then start to notice your breath. Noticing the flow of the inhale as the air enters the nostrils, expands the lungs, expands the ribs. And the sensations of the exhale as the ribs draw in and the air passes through the nostrils. Soften the shoulders down away from the ears. And starting to switch on your ujjayi breath. Okay. So ujjayi, a reminder, is in through the nose and out through the nose. With that gentle contraction of the back of the throat. creating that oceanic sound. Some people say oceanic, some people say Darth Vader, whatever works for you. And notice how with that contraction at the back of the throat, it slows down the breath, draws out the breath. With Ujjayi, breathing deeply, but from a place of steadiness and ease, without forcing the breath. So Ujjayi is very calming for the nervous system. It's also a warming breath. slowly blink the eyes open. Great. Spinal twist. Okay, so change the cross of the legs over just to balance it out. All right. And we're going to twist to the right first. Okay, so as you inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, twist to the right. Place the left hand to the outside of the right knee and rest the right hand on the floor behind the lower back. Okay. So as you inhale, sit up a little taller. Exhale. 
exhale, twist a little deeper. And staying with the Ujjayi breath. So at the start of a forest yoga practice, we usually do twists and side bends to help up, help to warm up the muscles around the ribs. Okay, so we warm up, open up those muscles so we can breathe deeply, easily during the practice. So as you inhale, expand the ribs. Exhale, twist. Good. Come on back to center. Change cross of legs again. Okay. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist. Okay. So with each inhale, sitting up taller. Exhale, twist. Eyes closed or eyes open, whatever you feel most comfortable with. And if at the start of your practice, the mind is really active, you feel distracted, closing the eyes can be a really gentle way of bringing you back into your breath, into your body. Release, back to center. Okay, change the cross of the legs again. Okay, time for a side bend, and we'll go to the right first. Okay, take your right hand and place the fingertips to the ground, and the right hand is in line with the right hip. Okay, from here, inhale and reach the left arm up. And as you exhale, lean over to the right, press the palm of the right hand firmly into the ground and reach left arm over the head. Okay, so feeling that stretch along the left side of the torso. And steady breath in through the nose out through the nose, using your breath to connect to sensation. And activate the left hand by spreading the fingers wide apart, just like we did in the basic moves. So you feel that aliveness moving through the arm, into the hand, into the fingertips. All right, move left arm into neck release. Okay. So now the palm of the left hand is facing down. It's about 20 centimeters off the ground. And with your next inhale, sit up tall again. So lift up out of lower back. Keep that left hand active. All right, now bring right shoulder down the back away from the ear. Relax the neck by moving right ear towards right shoulder. Right. 
Okay, many of us carry a lot of tension and stiffness in the neck. Okay, if that's the case, then maybe keep the head more upright, somewhere that's more comfortable for you. And be very patient, softening into the neck. Come on up and use the right hand to support the head upright. All right. Change cross of legs. Side bend to the left. You're doing great. Okay, fingertips away from the hip. Keeping the spine upright, the chest upright. Inhale, reach right arm up. Exhale, lean over into the side bend, pressing palm of the hand into the ground. And then reach through the right arm. Spread open fingers of right hand. Expansive breath. And moving right arm into neck release. Palm faces down, spread open the fingers of the right hand. As you inhale, lift up out of lower back. Exhale, reach the right arm gently away from the neck. Feel the stretch in the neck. So relaxing the neck, big part of forest yoga. Hey, learning to soften and let go of any unnecessary tension in the neck. Also, having a relaxed neck enables us to breathe deeper because the upper chest can move more freely at the top of the inhale. Okay? So when we're tight and tense in the neck, it inhibits our breath. And release, okay, bringing the head upright with the help of the left hand. Okay, moving on to abdominals, core strength. Okay, we're gonna build this up nice and slow. Okay. So lie back. Ah. Arms are by your side, palms facing up. Feet on the floor with knees bent. Okay, we'll start with curling the tailbone up off the ground. So the tailbone is right at the base of the spine. Okay, so take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, curl the tailbone up. Just a few centimeters off the ground. Inhale, lower tailbone slowly back down again and feel the natural curve of the lower back come up off the ground. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Inhale, tailbone down. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Keep this going. This tilting of the pelvis with your breath. Movement with breath. Also helps to engage the abdominals here. 
abdominal activation. Letting the breath flow smoothly. So the movement is smooth. Okay, finish up. The down level version of elbow to knee. I'll demonstrate this first so you can see what it looks like. So, looks like this. Inhale. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, pick left foot up. Curl head, shoulders up. Pull belly down. Inhale, slowly lower. Hold breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, right foot comes up. Head, shoulders come up. Pull belly down. Inhale, lower with control. All right, your turn. So clasp hands together at the base of the skull. And I'm gonna talk you through it. So full breath in through the nose, ujjayi. Then hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, slowly curl head, shoulders up and pick left foot up off the ground. At the bottom of the exhale, pull lower belly down towards the lower back. Inhale, slowly lower, full breath in. Hold breath, tailbone up. Exhale, pick right foot up, curl head, shoulders up. Pull belly down. Inhale, slowly lower. Hold breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, pick left foot up, curl head, shoulders up. Then keep chin away from the chest. Rest your head in your hands so you're not pulling on the back of the neck. Pull belly down. Inhale, slowly lower. Hold breath, tailbone up, exhale, right foot up, head, shoulders up. Pull belly down. Inhale, slowly lower. Hold breath, tailbone up, exhale, left foot up, head, shoulders up. Pull belly down. Inhale, slowly lower. Deepest breath yet. Hold breath. Tailbone up. Exhale, pick right foot up, curl head, shoulders up. Pull belly down. Inhale, slowly lower. And... Place one hand over the heart, one hand over the belly, and take three deep breaths. Noticing the mind starting to calm. And connecting to sensation in the body. Bridge pose. Again, I'll demonstrate first. Okay, so arms by the side, palms face up. It's a deep breath in. Fingertips are touching the heels. And as you exhale, lifting the hips. Okay. Feet are parallel, about hip distance apart. And you're tucking the tailbone here. So lengthening the tailbone, just like we did in the basic moves. 
lengthening tailbone forwards. This creates space in the lower back and helps to engage your glutes. And then to lower down upper back, middle back and lower back. Okay, your turn. So touch your fingertips to the heels. Make sure feet are parallel. Uh, take a deep breath in. And exhale, lift the hips. Bridge pose. As you press down the, free, the feet, then tuck tailbone. In through the nose, out through the nose. Ujjayi. Then lower slowly, upper back, middle back, and lower back. From here, roll over onto your right hand side. And come on to hands and knees. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna do unlocking the shoulders. Here, which we did in the in the basic moves. Okay, so Come to an upright kneeling position and then bring the elbows up, shoulder height, shoulder distance apart. I'll show you from the side. Ah, okay. So, unlocking the shoulders helps to activate this area under here. So your lat that wraps around here and also serratus anterior that's on top of the, the ribs, okay? It also fires up the chest, okay? It teaches us to build intelligence and strength in the shoulders for taking weight in the arms and the shoulders. Okay. So take a deep breath in. As you exhale, move shoulders down, move elbows forwards, and then squeeze the elbows towards each other. Like you're pressing the insides of the elbows against a block. Feel the chest activate. Also feel a bit of activation underneath the armpits, the wrapping muscles. Also relax the jaw, keep the neck long. Then relax the arms down, okay? Okay, moving into dolphin. So from hands and knees, come onto your forearms. Measure the distance between the elbows by wrapping fingers around the outside of the biceps. And then place forearms down, palms pressed down. Okay, if you're having neck or shoulder problems, then clasp hands together. Okay, dolphin, feel free to watch, watch first. Okay. So we soften the back of the neck, curl toes under. And then as you inhale, lifting the upper back, that space between the shoulder blades. Exhale, pushing back into dolphin. Okay. Squeezing the elbows, just like we did in uh, unlocking the shoulders. to come out, lowering the knees down. Okay. All right, so let's give it a go. Inhale, expand the upper back, that space between the shoulder blades. 
Exhale, curl toes under and push back into dolphin. And squeezing the elbows. And then sending sit bones skywards, lengthening torso as much as you can. Knees can be as bent as you need them. And then maybe pressing heels towards the ground, feeling a little more of a stretch in the hamstrings. Release, lower the knees down. And come to lie on your back. So warm down pose is spinal twist. Extend the right leg out in front of you and hug the left knee in towards the chest. Take the left knee over to the right and rest it on the floor or a prop for support. Left arm can either reach out to the side or maybe resting the left hand on the chest if that's more comfortable. Okay, so you're getting a twist in the lower back and also a chest opener here. And deep steady breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. That contraction at the back of the throat, ujjayi breath. Okay. Come back to center, change legs. Hugging right knee in towards the chest and take right knee over to the left. Bring the right knee back to the center and lie back for Shavasana. Okay, so at the end of practice, we always finish in uh, Shavasana. Okay, so you lie back and have the arms by your side with the palms face up. Okay, then let the feet roll out to the sides and close your eyes. So Shavasana is this moment of deep rest and healing and relaxation at the end of practice. It's where your body processes and integrates everything you've just experienced. So let the shoulders roll back. And you can let go of the ujjayi breath, allowing your body's natural breathing rhythm to return.
to come out of Shavasana, start to deepen your breath, moving your fingers and toes, and stretch the arms back, full body stretch, hug your knees into your chest. And roll over to your right. And slowly come on up to seated. Bring the hands together at the heart. And we close the practice by saying Namaste, which means the sacred in me bows to the sacred in you. Namaste. Well done. So you've completed the, the first beginner's sequence. So feel free to do this as many times as you like. Uh, this is a, a very typical forest yoga warm up sequence. So the next beginner's class will start to add in some uh, sun salutations and standing poses. Okay, well done today. See you soon. Bye.